Is your UI suffering from too much data? Let's fix that with AppMaker's new Invisibility Mode and get you the superhero credit you deserve. The first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of this text box that was auto-generated when we created this table. Now, open up the widgets panel and let's drag out a vertical panel. And we're going to drop it right in the row of the table. Next, drop a horizontal panel inside of there. Now, move over each of the text boxes for our fields and drop them right inside of that horizontal panel. Okay, now they're all lined up again. Uh, we've changed the width of the horizontal panel to just be the full width of the screen and then now it looks like we're right back to where we were. But we've, we've added a vertical panel into there. So let's drag a text area right in there and drop it into the vertical panel right below the horizontal panel. We're going to set the size to fix so we actually get to see the, the text area. And then we'll set the margins to 20 on each side. Okay, are you ready for invisibility mode? Well, to make this work per row, we're going to need to add a field in the database. So let's click open the database, and we're going to add a Boolean type field. And we'll just call that show and hide. And now let's go back to our page. And we'll open the widget panel. And we're going to drag over a checkbox, drop it in the row. And let's just change that to a switch. I like how those look. And then we'll drag a label over so we can tell everybody what that switch actually is for. Let's type in show hide up here in the label. And now let's go and we're going to set the value of the switch to, we're going to bind it to that new show hide field that we made. Now let's click on the notes text area and also bind its visibility property to show and hide. So let's take a look at the invisibility type. If we select absent, then the object that's hidden won't take up any space on the page. If we choose hidden, then it's going to just show a big blank space where it was. Let's give the page a preview. And now you can see our rows look great. All that extra text is gone. And if we flip the switch, then the new text area is visible. And you can see that absent invisibility type working here to collapse our data. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to join us for more great videos at AppMakerUniversity.com.